Thank you. Well, it's day three of the special session in Tallahassee, and already two bills have been passed preventing businesses in Florida from mandating a COVID vaccine. NBC6 reporter Steve Blitz joins us live from inside the state capitol in Tallahassee with the latest for us this evening. Steve. Hi, Juwan. Plenty of chatter on this one with senators going some three hours on this debate. Let's take that live camera now. A look in on the Senate floor as senators debate and go into details on the nitty gritty of these bills and this policy. Four of them make up the package, which is uh, which has been brought forward by Governor Ron DeSantis. Each one now getting attention and debate. The matter made it through the House earlier today and it's uh, getting attention, a whole lot of attention in the Senate right now. Have all members voted? As expected, the Florida State Legislature is voting bills into law to crack down on businesses requiring employees to be vaccinated against COVID. This thing called science. The Senate debating the item late into the afternoon. 76 yeas, 38 nays, Mr. Speaker. The House passing the measure this morning. Democrats feeling this special session was not necessary. This is a, a really a, a pissing contest between the governor and the Biden administration. And at the end of the day, the Biden administration will have the last word. You don't like wearing a mask? Sorry, you got to wear it for the other person. Republicans insisting the matter is urgent. This is simply about, you know, one size fits all approaches don't work. Um, there are valid concerns that some people have and making sure that people are protected and safe is our biggest priority. At one point, the debate on the House floor turned nasty when Central Florida Republican Representative Anthony Sini said this about President Biden. He is a tyrant nonetheless. Members. Members. The exchange prompting the House Speaker to tell House members to pipe down. The legislation withdraws Florida from federal agency OSHA. The state will establish a similar agency. Business owners would face hefty fines if they violate the new law. Exemptions for religious or medical reasons must be available. The votes were mostly along party lines with just a few Democrats joining Republicans in passing the measure. Miami Representative James Bush was one of those Democrats. Parents have uh, expressed to me that they want to be uh, included and empowered to be able to make decisions that affect their, their children. And that's what uh, I uh, considered when I took the vote. The health department will be very involved in making the rules for these new laws once they come to fruition. Republicans enjoy majorities in both chambers, the House as well as the Senate, and they often get things to go their way. And if and when, it is likely that this will go their way this evening. And the next step up in this process is the governor to sign this bill. Live in Tallahassee tonight, I'm Steve Litz, NBC6 News.